Hey guys, welcome to the BD Theme Suje tutorial. Today we are going to talk about one of the amazing features brought to you by Element Pack Pro, the Asset Manager. Previously, Element Pack Pro would load the whole script of the widgets when you use any widget on your page. But now, it will only load specific widget scripts inside the page when the Asset Manager is turned off. This is the default setting. Let us show you. Let's go to the widget section and turn them all down first. Then just keep two of them on and save settings. On the third party section, turn all of them down too. Now go to a new page with Elementor Page Editor and reload it. On the widget menu, you can see the two active widgets there. Just drag them on the page. Now update and go to the preview page to inspect it. Here, you can see active scripts for only the two widgets inside the code lines. Just keep digging and you won't find any other scripts running on the page. As the Asset Manager extension works only on Element Pack Pro version 6 and above, you can take the advantage of it or the new dashboard analytics on any older version plugin. Also, the plugin dashboard has gone through some amazing upgrades, so you need to set things up manually for the first time. Then if you want to upgrade to Element Pack Pro version 6, the first thing you need to do is create a staging website that resembles your original site. Then install Elementor Page Builder plugin and regenerate CSS from the options. Then go to the older version Element Pack Pro plugin dashboard and take screenshots of your active widgets and extensions. Do this in order to avoid mistakenly turning off any active widgets from the site. Later on, once you take note of the current settings, you are ready to upgrade to Element Pack Pro version 6. Like that, Element Pack Pro now loads a script for only active widgets when the asset manager is turned off. But if you turn it on, the feature will minify the total script for active widgets and load it in a single script file. Just turn all widgets back and save settings. Then flip on the Asset Manager switcher. Now go to the local file of your website and navigate to the file path and you will discover a folder named Minified. Here, you can see both Minified.js and CSS file for all active widgets stored inside single files. Now, this is more than awesome. Just turn off all widgets and keep only two on. Save settings and you will see the Minified scripts showing a lot. This is due to the active widget minification feature of the Element Pack Pro Asset Manager. That's all about it. Thanks for watching this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.